In today's video, we take one of Yu-Gi-Oh's best products and make it even better. What's up guys, we're back with another insane opening video. In this video, we have taken Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary and we've turned it into Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition. Now you might wonder, what does that mean? Well, you're just gonna have to watch the video and find out. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. Yugi Hunter actually sent me this giveaway when he sold me a few packs, some which may or may not be in the Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition. He wants to give away this first edition Red Dragon Arch Venus Assault Mode. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below that Yugi Hunter's awesome. We will be opening up a very special Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition, which has a little bit of a variant on the 25th anniversary, a pretty big variant actually. Uh, who remembers back in the day, you know, getting those first Legendary Collections they all had, especially the master collections, they had one through six, the first six packs ever made. That was pretty fun, huh? Very fun. We'll have to check that out later. But we also have a few other packs to be open today. So we'll be opening up a bunch of packs. We're also going to be opening up the special Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition. Oh, and don't forget to comment on the Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition because it's going to be insane. There may or may not be some absolutely crazy packs in here. But before we do that, let's open up an actual 25th anniversary pack here and see what we get inside. I kind of spoiled it a little bit. Slifer the Sky Dragon, baby. We're not going to take too much time. We're not going to flip through. Let's just look at the Slifer. 25th anniversary. I will say, this version, no 25th anniversary. So if that gives you a hint there, maybe give your guess down below what you think is going to be inside. Then we have, of course, the God cards. Very nice. We'll also be opening a variety of packs that Ruxin himself, which is me, uh, really enjoys opening. We have Legendary Duelist Rage Raw. We have Ghost from the Past 1. There's a lot of things I want to pull. Then, of course, the 25th anniversary there. And some of my favorite packs are inside of here as well. So we're going to open up this Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition in just a second. But first, let's open, like, let's open a Rage of Raw and it goes from the past at least before we really crack into that and show you guys what's inside. It's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm pumped for this video. Should be pretty fun. If you guys are enjoying it, don't forget to subscribe. But if you, you're going to enjoy it more as soon as we get there. Yeah, like right now, it's just like the, ooh, what could be inside? If you haven't skipped already, I'm really proud of you. All right, Ghost from the Past 1. Can we get that Dark Magician? I'm going to a new search for a Ghost Share Dark Magician. Been a while since I've pulled one. Uh, Medulce, we have a Salaman Great Falco and Supernova Dragon. Not a bad card. We'll take it, but it's not insane. But I'm hoping that is, you know, there's a lot more insane cards down the road. And the road will lead us to the 25th anniversary, a.k.a. the Legendary Collection Ruxin Edition. It's not also known as, actually. It's a different thing. Let's open this thing up. Yeah, I completely customized by me this is all me i didn't definitely didn't just oh wait uh, <laughs> i definitely didn't just tape on some paper there let's open this thing up and see what's inside dun 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 you guys oh you got a guess yet first edition legend of blue eyes and yes this is one of our heavy packs so we're starting off we have first edition legend of blue eyes heavy pack we have a first edition metal raiders pack so we're not talking about old school original packs we're talking first edition so that's pretty cool. First edition Magic Ruler pack. That is also pretty cool. A first edition Pharaoh Servant pack. Okay, here's where it's not first edition, I know. Unlimited Labyrinth of the Nightmare, but still. Original, the original 2002 logo. And then a first edition Legacy of Darkness. Sorry, guys, look. I didn't have a Labyrinth of the Nightmare pack on me, okay? Look, everything else is first ed. Don't, you know, sometimes you gotta have some unlimited. We gotta appreciate that, too. Let's get into it. Let's start opening some packs, guys, because... This could be an insane opening in multiple ways. First of all, we could get a Ghost Rare, a uh, Wing Dragon or Rob. We could get a Ghost Rare, Dark Magician. We could get a Blue Eyes White Dragon First Dead. You know, any of that. El Shadal Hollow literally every time. Uh, it always happens. I'm going to open up another Legendary Duelist Rage Raw, and then we'll start going through Ruxin Special Edition. Let me know if you guys had your own special edition, what packs would you put inside? I was considering doing like random packs that I loved, and then I was like, you know, the first six is just really fun. That's just the way that it would be. First Dead, you know? first ed of the first packs that would be pretty impressive to open which is what we're doing right now other than the lon okay sue me don't really that would that would be unfortunate okay so yugi hunter actually uh sold me this one this one and this one so three of these are from yugi hunter shout out to him let's see if he sold us anything good because inside here this was from a blister so we'll probably get uh if we get anything it'll be injection fairy lily let's see if we can get something we have a wolf axe wielder let's go let's pull something awesome the secret of the bandit the hunter with seven weapons Lizard Soldier, Skull Knight, Numero Dos, Dragon's Rage, the Ryukishin Clown. We've opened many LOD packs in the past, but we have not pulled a lot of secret rares, to be honest. So I would love to pull one. Heart of Clear Water. Whew, can we get something crazy? Oh, a 
Mahino Gagosuchi Ultra Rare. That's pretty crazy. How's that corner right there? Maybe a tiny thing going on in the corner. Maybe a little bit going on with that corner, but that is a pretty nice card. Check that out. And the centering for LOD is crazy good. Oh, does that corner mess up? Is that really going to mess up our... Oh, the corner's a little messed up. It's not terrible, but like for LOD, the centering is literally like immaculate for what it normally is out of LOD. So that's a bummer because a PSA 10 of this is probably pretty rare. Wow. I don't know. Maybe worth to send it in and see what happens with that corner, but... Wow, first edition ultra rare already pulled in the legendary collection Ruxon's edition. So my legendary collection is pretty insane so far. Okay, it's been a fun opening so far. I'm already enjoying it. Let's open our first, uh, have we opened any of the legendary collections here? We have not, so let's open a Dark Crisis. Yeah, we we got LO or Legacy of Darkness instead of Dark Crisis in the Ruxon edition because we did the first three or the first six. And then Ken Dog, I was thinking about the pack trick. Chaist, Vile Pond, we have Arsenal Summoner, the DD Trainer. That's a Ruxon special. Mephist. And a Dark Master Zork, another super? We're pulling okay right now. I mean, we've had already a couple of pulls. This is a great start. And as we go, we'll be checking out Legendary Duelist Rays of Raw. I have not pulled a Winged Dragon of Raw since like the uh, 50K stream special, like literally that long ago, 2020, I think. Psychic Shockwave. That's how long it's been, 2020, guys. Almost three years ago, last time I pulled the Winged Dragon of Raw. So I'm ready to pull it again. Like it, I've forgotten completely about pulling it. Dacker Crusader, we have Buster Dragon and your Black Comet Dragon. Okay, at least it wasn't the Hell Should All Hollow. Funny thing about the Hell Should All Hollow is it is a hollow card. Not sure if that's actually funny, but I figured I'd say it. Okay, Unlimited, Labyrinth of Nightmare. We could get Gemini Elf, we could get Magic Cylinder. I don't know if these are retail or not. I've had these loose, I can't remember. I don't think we've pulled a secret out of these, so I don't know. I would guess retail because usually if it's loose, it's retail. We have a Miracle Dig, Lightning Conger. We have the Dancing Fairies. Unlimited pack, Worm Drake. If this was first dead, just imagine it's first dead to finish the rest of the Rux and uh, Special Edition. Uh, St. Joan, not Special Edition. That was the one with the Petite Moth. Uh, Legendary Collection. We have Empress Mantis, Spirit of Flames. We have Lightning Blade and Marie the Fallen One. Just a rare. That's okay. This is our unlimited pack, so nothing to fret about. That's okay. All right, let's go back and try a Ghost from the Past one. Come on, baby. Bless us with some luck here. We want to pull that Dark Magician. We have Monarchs Erupt. Sun Avalon, Xyz Burst, and it's a Mega Monarch. Come on, where's that Dark Magician? I know it's hard to pull, guys. I know it's hard, but it just it just feels like we're so close. Maybe we'll get a Dark Magician out of the LOB pack. I wouldn't be mad about that. First dead Dark Magician. Would anybody be mad? I would not at all. Uh, Mechlord Fortress. I mean, Blue Eyes, I'd be happier, though. I'm just saying. Genzo, Token Sunday, Raw's Disciple, Mount of the Bound Creator. That's it. Okay, it ends on a rare. That's kind of weird because, you know, I'm used to it being rare and foil these days. All right, IOC. Let's see what we can do here. See what I did there? IOC, what we can do here? That would be, yeah, that would have been a great joke. Anti-aircraft, we have salvage. Let's salvage the video after that terrible joke. DD Borderline, we have Burning Algae. Hyper Hammerhead, we have Mad Dog of Darkness. And uh, Soul Tigre, the Tigre of the Soul. Okay, kind of on a cold streak now. We started really hot with the Hinokagasuchi, and since then it's been a little iffy. All right, I'm gonna do a little Pharaoh Servant before we open Pharaoh Servant, if you know what I'm saying. First set Pharaoh Servant upcoming. I would love to pull a Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'd love to pull a Buster Blader, Legendary Fisherman. There's a lot of good ones. You see Warrior Skull Mariner. I mean, any secrets, obviously great. Mr. Volcano, Cyber Falcon, Gradius, Ground Collapse. Overdrive, Light Force Sword, and oh, a Chain Destruction. It's an Ultra. Not one of the good ones, but it is an Ultra. We do get a Chain Destruction here, and it was like gradable. I'd be fine with that. That would be pretty cool. Time to find out if we will get any foil. This one, honestly, just based on feel, this feels like a foil. I'm not an expert at like knowing if the pack has a foil in it or not, but for some reason, this feels like it has a foil. Let's see if I'm right. One, two, three, four. Look how dark these cards are compared to the other ones. Wow, check this out. Compared to Ghost from the Past, yeah, that's way different. Compared to 25th anniversary, that's way different. It almost makes the 25th anniversaries look fake. All right, Enchanted Javelin. Whoa, look at the centering on these. Wow, that is terrible. That's almost miscut. Overdrive, very cool. All-terrain armored vehicle. We have the Major Riot. Dude, it's getting worse, I think. Wing Weaver. Oh, a six-wing fairy who prays for peace and hope and has 2,750 attack points. Bite Shoes, watch out. Getting a little better in the centering. The All-Seeing White Tigre. That's almost... That's almost good centering at this point. Ground Collapse. Will we get something great? I want the Buster Blader. Come on. I don't have a PSA 10 of that, so that'd be cool. Let him enrich it. We'll have to wait for the next one for the foil. Or rare. 
Prohibition. Not a bad rare, not a bad rare, but it is still a rare, so it's obviously not the best, but I mean, if you're looking for a decent rare, that's not bad. All right, back to Rage of Raw. Let's see what we can do. Legendary Collection, Ruxin Edition. Please bring us some luck here. Dragado, we have the Shockwave, Metal Reflex Slime, and Reactor Slime. Okay, I still, the Egyptian God Slime, it did get, or it got announced reprint maybe. Still an expensive card, so I would be okay pulling that. It used to be like 55 bucks, it was insane. Ghost from the past one. You know what else is over 55 bucks? The Ghost Rare Dark Magician. It's like 550 bucks, actually. Let's see, we have Update Jammer. Heels out, come on, let's go, uh, what's that dude's name? Bastion, there we go. Cosmo Dark Lady, we have Salvage and Dragoonity Glow. Oh, I'm just waiting to see that normal monster pop up. All right, spell ruler time. Will the ruler of the spells come in clutch for us? One, two, three. I would love a Relinquished. I would love a Toon Dragon. I would love a Serpent Knight Dragon. It's also one of my favorite. I do have both of those secrets in PSA 10 though, so I also have Relinquished. So we, anything that I don't have in a 10 would be great as well. Whiptail, Spear Cretan. We have a UFO Turtle and Rising air current. Okay, nothing there, but we'd rather whiff there and then hit a home run on the first dead pack, right? So, I mean, I'm okay with pulling doubles of cards I have as tens and getting them again. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Let's go Magic Ruler. All right, one, two, three, four. Can we get something crazy? We have the Toll. All right, holding his hand out. We got the Reliable Guardian. Is that? No, different people. Okay, definitely. We have the Spear Cretan, one of the most annoying cards if you get this thing looped. Weather Report. The giant turtle who feeds on flames. I'm not sure why he eats flames, but he does. He's a crimson shielded turtle. You think his shield is because of that? Is he? Is this Bowser? Did they just make a Bowser card? Not sure. Magical Labyrinth. We have the Dark Zebra. The Red Archery Girl from Pegasus. And I think this is the last card. Here we go. Heo Zanru makes an appearance. The original Heo Zanru versus the Ghost from the Past version. All right, another whiff. Okay, okay. So we went, went one for three from Yugi Hunter's packs. Honestly, one for three for old school is pretty good, especially being an ultra rare. So I'm not mad about that for sure. All right, let's go back to Rage of Raw. I added a couple of packs and I want there to be, you know, open a couple of Rage of Raw and uh, Ghost from the Past as we end it. Let's see if we can get a Ghost in these last couple I just grabbed. That'd be pretty sick. Genzo Lord, Mech Lord and the everlasting alloy i can't remember does the rare actually replace the hollow when you get a hollow we got a hollow earlier but i think we got a rare and a hollow when we got that so i don't know where the the foil is supposed to appear in that pack time the bezel ship come on be a be a ghost even if it's not dark magician blue eyes alternative is a sick one uh sun avalon that'd be pretty cool dragoonity and starry night arrival i feel like i pulled like three or four of the uh alternative we've had good luck with that one okay mrd my favorite set we won't end well, we can't end with mrd because i have a first set heavy lb pack we gotta end with that but it's still a nice pack to open still one i'm excited about obviously we want that canyon moth lady day fade let's go electric lizard insect soldiers of the sky feral imp mega thunderball empress judge oguchi love to see oguchi <laughs> cannon soldier and Ancient brain, feel the pain. Okay. okay, as I've said, we'd rather whiff there than whiff on the first dead pack. <sighs> MRD, we could get Gate Guardian. Well, actually, this is out of a blister, so this, this would be Thousand Dragon. We could get Thousand Dragon. We could get all those amazing ultras. If you guys haven't seen my top videos, top 10 video, uh, we're talking about the best sets. I know a lot of you guys have it because it barely got any views. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. And you'll hear all the awesome stuff out of MRD because I am biased, but I did lay out of some pretty cool stuff about MRD. Can you bless us? One, two, three, four. Let's give us any foil would be amazing. We have the Punished Eagle, first edition. The Armored Zombie. Yeah, look at all that armor, killing it. Flame Cerberus. The Battle Steer, not the Battle Scars. The Unhappy Maiden. I'm sorry, Maiden, you are unhappy. Oh, yes! The first edition, Pacanio Moth. Centering's a little off, but still, first edition. The small but deadly creature is better off avoided. Best card you could pull in the set. Let's go ahead and set that back there. Armored Lizard. Niwatori, what's that mean again? I can't remember. Whew, here we go. Will it be a foil? Come on, any foil, ultra rare especially. I'll take a seven tools, I'll take a magic jammer, I don't care. Let's go. Oh, we got a magic jammer, let's go! We did pull a magic jammer, ultra rare. Oh, let's go, one of the worst ultras in the set, but when you're opening one pack, it doesn't really matter. It hurts a lot more when you open a booster box, but when it's one, one pack magic, it's just like, <laughs> Who freaking cares? This is sick. Centering's pretty good on it. Up a top edge might be a little iffy up here. Uh, 
it's not too bad. A little silvering, but honestly pretty good. I think this maybe could get a 10. Very nice. First edition. I have pulled this before and I think I graded a 10. So uh, I might already have this. I think I do. But if I don't, it doesn't matter anyway. I honestly really like the artwork of this card. I think it looks amazing. The hollow pattern looks sick. I'm a fan of it. I'm a big fan. Very cool card. I used to play that in my deck back in the day. All right, the Ruxin Special Edition paying off with two ultra rares out of first edition packs. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's get a couple ghost rares in a row to end it. We have a Genzo. Okay. Oh, he pulled that twice. <laughs> two supers. Okay. But don't worry. We'll get some ultras out of here for sure. And then we got LOB to end it off, guys. It's been a fun opening. Not going to lie. It's been fun. Hieratic Dragon. It's always fun to open first, Ed. But quite pricey. So hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying it because... This video is certainly not going to make me any money. I guess you could subscribe if you want to see me lose more money in the future. Well, let's be honest. That's why like 90% of you guys are subscribed anyway. You like seeing it me crash and burn. I know how it goes. I know how it goes. Okay, three from the back. Let's see if we can do a little uh, a little better here. LOB, man eater. I mean, even better than Magic Jammer. Honestly, that was a sick pull. Sick pull. Remove trap, Larvis, Petite Angel. I even called it. I said, I don't care. Give me one of those crappy traps. I'll take it. Giant Soldier and... Diva Warrior. Okay, as I said, save it for the first dead pack. We did that with Metal Raiders. It worked out well. LOB, I do want, I want a good ultra or a secret. That's what I want. I want one of those. It's heavy, so super rare is like the worst you can get in theory. I mean, if there's no super, it really suck. Okay, we're in and off with a heavy first dead pack. Uh, I'm pretty sure based on this weight, we have already pulled a foil at this weight. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this because this could be the moment we pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. We probably won't, but yeah. Here we go. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes wavy pack heavy oh not necessarily guaranteed probably like 99 percent chances has a foil in it one thousand dollars down the drain just now here we go let's see if we can make any of it back all right one two three four let's see if that's a blue eyes white dragon at the back right there i feel like i see some damage on the corners maybe not maybe that was just an optical illusion beautiful green sogan i love that a little bit of a warp same with the other packs i've opened but yeah maybe there is something on that corner Mystical Sheep, number two. Very cool. Numero dos. The Tripwire Beast. Mazurizame. Is there a Yame coming up next? Let's find out. No, it's a Lesser Dragon. Okay, Lesser Dragon. Masaki, the Legendary Swordsman. Come on, give us an Ultra at least. We have an Imwer number one. We have a Mountain. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, this is, this is eight cards in. All right, this is the moment, guys. Blue Eyes, Exodia, Red Eyes, Dark Magician. That's what we're really looking for. Secret Rare, anything else would be pretty good as well. Here we go. Another Polly! You gotta be kidding me! Another Polly! I already pulled a Polly! <laughs> I mean, it's a great super, so it's like, it's good, because if it's like a worse super, that would suck. Look at that wavy, that looks nice. But the other one graded a 10, so maybe we'll get another 10. That'd be nice. Back has like the slightest, slightest scuffing, just like the other one. Okay, maybe we could get another 10 if we get lucky. Ah, oh, it's so, oh. Same card. I mean, come on. We've gotten Flame Swordsman. Got damage, unfortunately. Then we pulled another poly, graded a 10, and now we've pulled another poly. Okay, uh, double poly, I guess. I guess we're happy. Not really. I mean, we probably took an L here. Unless we get another 10, then we'd break even, I think. But overall, the Ruxin Special Edition was a success. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more weird videos like this where we're opening first dead packs. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.